Creating MySQL users is a very common task that we usually do. Whenever we create a new database for an application for a website, we need to create a user and grant privileges on that specific database to the user so it can individually manage it. It's not recommended to just use the root user to manage all of the databases and it's not logical in case of security and uh, project logic. So in this tutorial we'll be talking about creating and dropping users and working with privileges so you will have a comprehensive understanding about this subject. To create a MySQL user, we need to be logged into the server as a high-privileged user who can access to all of these type of commands, like creating users and working with privileges. So I log into my server using the root username by typing mysql-u root-p and give it a password. After login, the only thing we need to do to create a user is typing create user and give it a username let's call it arashtot it can be everything and localhost is the host name as i'm using the default host name of mysql localhost is a host name after that by typing identified by we can introduce a password for it please note that this password must be strong use uppercase and lowercase letters use special characters and also numbers all of them combined in your password to make it as strong as possible but for sake of, for the sake of time in this tutorial i give it a very simple password after i press enter it will return a query okay it means that the user has been created so far we have created the user but this user cannot do a lot on our server because we have not granted any privileges to it. The next step is granting privileges that we want over a s database to this user so it can manage it. Let's say that we have a database called MySQL Tutorials and inside that database we have a table called Lessons. Let's see how we can grant privileges to this specific user on that database and that table. The command structure will be something like this grant privilege name and then privileges keyword on database name period table name to inside quotations username and at sign host name. This is the structure of the command. So let's say that we want to grant select privileges to this user. Don't worry about the name of the privileges. We will get to that later in the next videos and work with all of those privileges. But for now, just mention the structure of granting command. So we can type select, that is the name of a privilege. If we want to add more privileges, we can separate it by comma. Also, to grant all privileges to a user, we just can simply type all. And after that, we need to specify the actual name of the database that we want to grant the privilege to. If we want to grant uh, the privilege on just a specific database, we can type the database name here otherwise if we want to grant privilege all on all of the databases on the server we can just simply put a star here also this is accurate for the table name we can specify a table name or put a star to grant privileges on all tables and after that the username we created the arash.username username and the host name would be localhost and this is an actual command for this server that we can use if i press enter it will return a query okay it means that all the privileges are granted to this user over all of the website so uh, databases and all of the tables now to check the privileges that we have granted we can use the command show grants for username at hostname. 
I press enter and it, it returns all of the privileges that we have. We have granted all privileges on all databases and all tables to this username and this is the hashed password. So, so far we have created a user and we have granted privileges. Now, let's say that we want to revoke this privileges from this user. This is very easy and very similar to the previous command. We can type revoke all, for example, privileges on all of the databases and all of the tables from username at hostname. And this will revoke all of the privileges on all databases and all tables. Again, we also can here do select. If we type this, only the select privilege will be revoked. Also, we can separate it with comma and add more privileges to mention some more privileges. But putting all here will revoke all of the privileges. I press enter and now if I do show grants it will have only the usage privilege that is just log into the server so so far we have reviewed the revoke process now let's say that we want to remove the arashtad username from the server completely this is done by typing drop user username at hostname and this will remove the user from the server completely so in this video you learned how to create users how to grant privileges and check privileges for user revoke privileges and how to drop users this is all you need to know about creating users and working with privileges while creating a new project and database for your website or application hope that was hopeful and until the next one i bid you farewell